George Wien, there's a saying that musicians aren't born to be good businessmen. But I think you're an exception to that rule. As a musician who is more or less making, let's say, 80% of all the jazz festivals in the United States, there must be two souls in your heart, which is which is the one that is more prominent, the businessman or the musician? Well, I was just saying that uh, my New Orleans festival opens in three hours, and that's the biggest festival in the world. But I'm here in Bern for a lovely festival that you have here. So maybe, I don't know, maybe one takes precedent. But I don't know whether I, don't know whether I was made a musician to be a businessman and not a, in a, or a businessman, or the saying is, aren't very good musicians. So I don't know. <laughs> Well, uh, but you started with the Newport Jazz Festival in the 50s, is that 1954. correct? 1954. And what is it, I mean, f from the point of the musician that attracts you to festivals? It just happens. You know, I came from New England, that's my home, and there was a wonderful classical music festival in New England up at... Uh, uh, in Lenox, Massachusetts, the home of the Boston Symphony. And it was called Tanglewood Festival. And I was in jazz, I had my little band, and I had my little club, and I always said, why can't jazz have its summer festival with classical music? And then there was always Salzburg and, and all Beirut and all the great uh, uh, classical festivals in Europe. Why can't jazz have its own festival? And so uh, when the Newport, Rhode Island, when the people from Newport came and asked us to do something there in the summer, I said, well, let's do a jazz festival. So it just was an outgrowth of, uh, of what I was already doing. I didn't sit down and say, hey, I'm going to design this thing and call it a festival. And it just happened. I knew what was happening in jazz in New England. I knew the people that came to my club. I knew they would go down to a great concert or a great weekend of jazz in Newport. And so it was, it was uh, something very natural to do. Uh, of course, Newport, for example, if you just take Newport, was a huge success. I could imagine that a lot of people that are not so much into music, but into business, would see this as 
just an opportunity to make a buck. Now, is there, has there been cases in America where people that have nothing to do with music at all just wanted to make a business out of promoting music? It happens occasionally, but fortunately they don't last because you can't make any money in jazz festivals. It's impossible. Ask Hans Zuberg whether you can make any money in a jazz festival here in Bern. It's, you, you, it, the structure of them, they must be subsidized and they must uh, have sponsorship of some sort. And so a businessman doesn't think of that. He wants to think of can he make a buck. And if he goes in and he invests the first year and he loses, he has no dedication to the music and he, it's gone. We fight to keep festivals alive. 